G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is how to solve binomial expressions uh, really, really quickly, okay? And so we're going to be looking at this. We're also going to be looking at how you can check your answers just to make sure you've got the right answer. In this video, then we're going to be looking at um, how to use this to do different multiplication uh, techniques that are every day, just sort of a bit of interest sake stuff. This is going to be the first of a video where we're going to be looking at how to do different parts of algebraic expressions like this, how to multiply binomials, how to multiply binomials and trinomials, how to multiply trinomials, how to multiply pretty much any polynomial type expression. We're also going to be having a look a bit later on in videos at how to divide with uh, polynomials and that sort of deal. Okay, So if you're starting this, this particular part of algebra, it's a really, really great uh, series of videos for you. So anyway, the binomials we're going to be looking at, I'll give you an example of one right now, where say I'd get you to have a look at uh, mul multiplying these ones, solving these particular binomials. I've got say uh, x plus 4 in this bracket and I've got x plus 2 in this bracket here. So how quickly can you solve this? Now you should be able to do this fairly instantly because the answer to this uh, is x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, now this is something you should, these, these binomials, they're fairly, fairly rapid that you should be able to solve these. And I'll show you right now how I go about getting the answer to this pretty much instantly. Okay, so the way I do this is as follows. Now, first thing I do is what we do is we we're going to multiply all expressions here. So just, just before we start off, I'll, I'll explain what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to be multiplying this x by the x over here and the 2 over here, and then the 4 by the x here and the 2 here. So rather than doing it the standard way, this is the way we're going to be looking at it. So first off, we're going to get these two numbers here, the x and the x, we're going to multiply them together. We're going to get x squared. And that's the first part of our answer. We're going to leave space blank here and then we're going to multiply these last parts okay so 2 times 4 equals 8 okay so we're going to leave a bit of a gap between those it's a positive 8 so I'm going to put a positive there then what we're going to do is we're going to do this thing called rainbow multiplication okay so what we're going to be multiplying is these two numbers together and these two numbers together and by adding these together we're going to get the middle part of our answer okay so what we have first is x times 2 is 2x. We're going to add that to 4 times x, which is 4x. So we're going to get the answer. I'll put those together. We're going to get 6x. Okay, because 2x plus 4x gives us 6x. So there's our answer. Okay. And you'll probably take a slightly different way of doing these when you are when you first start out doing them. Okay. So you'll probably uh, be looking at these slightly differently. But I also said I'm going to show you how you can check your answer fairly quickly with these, okay, without having to substitute huge values and that sort of deal into there. The first thing, what we do is just consider that we're going to call x1. So if we were to do that, we'd make this into a 1 here. So 1 plus 4 is 5. And we're going to multiply this by 1 plus 2, which is 3. So the answer is 15. And we can check our answer down here, okay, because if this is 1, this would become 1 if x is 1, so this would be 1. Uh, 6 times x, so 6 times 1 is 6. And we're going to add that to 8. So these guys here, 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 8 is 15. So we've checked our answer. It's a good answer, okay? So hopefully you like that. Okay, what about I give you a different one of these? In a little bit, I'm going to show you also how you can, uh, again, use this for a different type of multiplication, just a bit of a... Uh, I'll do, I'll do this problem first, but then we'll have a look at how you can do some multiplication with it. It's just a bit of our interest sake stuff. So, I'll give you another one of these. What about we do x plus 6, and I'm going to get you to multiply that by x minus 1. Okay, give that a go. So, did you do this? Did you first off, you multiply these two numbers together? We get x times x, which is x squared. We're going to go. We're going to leave that space, and then we're going to go six times minus one. Now six times this is a positive six. This is minus one. So six times minus one is minus six. Did you fall for that trick? I hope not. Okay. Then what we're going to do is this rainbow multiplication. So we're going to go 
6 times x, which is 6x, and then minus 1 times x, which is minus 1x. So 6 and minus 1, we have 5. So 5x. How'd you go with that answer? So let's check it to see if it works. Okay, so let's put uh, some values in here. So again, we're just going to consider that x equals 1, a nice easy one to do. All right, let's do this. So this will make this 1 plus 6 is 7. And then 1 take 1 is nothing. So 7 take nothing is 0. And we'll check it out here. So this will become 1. 1 plus 5 take 6. So 1 plus 5 is 6. Take 6 equals 0. It all checks out. Our answer should be pretty good. All right, I really recommend checking your answers too because it's very, very easy to make mistakes. All right, I'll put another one up. And this time, what I'm going to do after I we, we solve it, I'm going to show you how you can uh, do some multiplication with this. And so that's fairly interesting, I think, anyway. It's just the way my brain works anyway. So what about we make it a bit harder this time? What about we do 3x plus 2? And we're going to multiply that by x plus 2. Okay, so you try to get the answer here. So hopefully what you get is you get... 3x squared, because we're multiplying these guys together, we're going to leave a space, and we're going to multiply 2 and 2 together, we're going to get 4, and we're going to do this rainbow multiplication, so 2x and 6x, 2x plus 6x is going to be 8x, so plus 8x, because it's a positive number, and that's a positive over here, because 2 and 2 are both positive, so there's our answer, now we're going to check it again really, really quickly, just because I think it's really good practice to do that. Okay, so this becomes 3, because this 3 times 1 is 3. So 3 plus 2 is 5. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So 3 and 5, we times these together, we get 15. And if we just substitute 1 in here, we're going to end up with 3 plus 8 plus 4. Okay, and you'll see that we also get the answer of 15. So our answer is good. Now, I said that I was going to show you something with this, which is I find kind of interesting, okay, um, which is this. Now, say you're going to see a number here I'll, that I'll write down. Say I actually turn this in, we're substituting this value for 10 here. I'll show you what I mean, because we'd end up with, if I was to do that, I'd end up with 30 plus 2. Yeah, you get that? So 32, and I'd be times, you know, if x was 10, that this would be, 10 plus 2, which is 12. Okay, so 32 times 12, a bit of standard multiplication. Now I'll show you what the answer to this will be, and how we can work this out. We, well, you've already worked it out pretty much. Look at this. This, 4 goes down here. 8x, which is 80. Okay, so the 8's going here. And 3x squared, so x squared is 10 times 10, which is 100, so 384. There's your answer. And that actually is, that, that works. It's pretty cool, right? Okay, what about I give you uh, another example of this, and I'll do that same sort of thing with this, okay, where I we also add in that particular next part of it. Okay, so what about we do another example, and then I'll give you a whole bunch of ones to try on your own. So what about we do 4x plus 6, and we multiply that by 2x plus 4. Okay, so what are we going to get for this? You might pause it and give it a quick go, or you maybe you've already solved it. Okay, so the answer that you're going to get is this. We multiply these two together first to get 8x squared. Leave that space. We're going to go plus 6 times plus 4, positive 6 times positive 4, which is 24, positive 24. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do this rainbow multiplication. So 2 times 6 or 2x times 6 is 12x plus 4 times 4x which is 16x so 12x plus 16x is 28x it's positive 28x too positive 28x okay check your answer okay so 4 plus 6 is 10 and we're going to times that by 2 plus 4 which is 6 okay so that multiplied together we get 60 and let's have a look here. So this is 8 plus 28 plus 24. And these also 
add up to 60 okay because 8 plus 28 is 36 plus 24 is 60 so our answer is good okay bit of an oversized tick there but it was a very good answer um, I'll tell you what and what I also said we'll just expand that out so we, we did what we did before where I changed this to um, we'll do it to see ya what we have is 46 times 24 okay where I'm substituting 10 into the uh, answer and the answer to this you'll see you've got the units part here which is a 4 now this 2 here because it's a 20 we're going to have to carry it across over here because this is 2 this is the tens part here so 4 we need to carry this across here okay so 2 plus 28 is 30 so I'm going to put the 0 down and carry the 3 over to here and 3 plus 8 is 11 and that's our answer okay so you might get this idea that you still have to carry things across when you do this it's pretty cool though right all right what about finally i'm going to give you a bunch of these to do by yourself really really quickly okay i'll answer i'll, I'll work through the answers with you but we'll get you, i'll get you to pause up it and give it and do everything go so what about we try i'll give them up here we've got x plus six and x plus two give that one a go um, we give what about I put a negative one in there too x minus four so be careful of that one uh, and x plus eight we'll try another one which is going to be three uh, x plus six and four x plus two and then you might see where this is going to head uh, you might be able to get this answer really quickly I'm going to do 36 times 42 just oh, oh, almost right down to 42 the wrong way times 42 okay so pause the video see how you go okay obviously you might notice that these two questions are very much related to one another okay so just a little hint there okay so how did you go let's let's check this out um, what about I put the answers in green here uh, so we multiply these two first we end up with x squared then we get we go to the last part which is 6 times 2 which is 12 positive 12 that is and then we do this rainbow multiplication so 2 times x and 6 times x they're both positive so we're going to end up with the answer of 6 plus 2 which is 8x okay and they're both positive so we can check out our answer there because this would become 7 and this would be, if we substitute in 1, this would become <laughs> this 1 plus 6 is 7 and 1 times 1 plus 2 is 3. Did I say 1? 1 plus 6 is 7, 1 plus 2 is 3. So we multiply them, we get 21. And if we add these together, 1 plus 8 plus 12, we also get 21. So our answer is checked. Okay. Uh, what about the next one? We're going to go x times x, which is x squared. Now we're going to go the last part which is minus 4 times 8 which is minus 32 okay and then we've got this part in the middle which is going to be this rainbow multiplication 8 times x and minus 4 times x so 8x take away 4x is 4x okay it's 8 take away 4 is 4 8x take away 4x is 4x we can check this one this would be a great one to check I think you know these ones make you feel a bit uncertain these ones are negatives when you're first doing them so if we were to substitute in we could uh, put 1 in here we'd end up with minus 3 times because 1 take away 4 is minus 3 minus 3 times uh, 1 plus 8 which is 9 so you're going to get minus 27 and if we did this we'd go 1 plus 4 which is 5 take away 32 is all also minus 27 so our answer is correct okay what about we do this last one okay well last one they're sort of related so they're not they're not, they're not yeah okay you know what I mean anyway so 3x times 4x oh wrong pen better, better get rid of that 3x times 4x is 12x squared okay we go to the last part which is 6 times 2 which is 12 it's positive 12 okay then we're going to go we're going to go uh this rainbow multiplication so 3x times 2 which is 6x plus 
6 times 4x, which is 24x. So 12 plus 24. Is it 12 plus 24? 12. Uh, sorry, my bad. My bad. 6 plus 24. 3 times 3x times 2 is 6. Plus 24 is 30x. Ooh, almost made a little mistake there. That happens occasionally. It's been known to happen in the past. Uh, okay, so. Let's check our answer out here. I think this might be a really, really good one to check our answer, okay? So let's go. 3 plus 6 is 9. 4 plus 2 is 6. And we multiply this together. 6 nines are 54. And 12 plus 30 is 42. Plus 12 is 54. And the good thing is, if I had have made that mistake, if I had have said that was uh, what that was going to end up being, I think 36, if I had have made the error I was about to head on with, it would have shown up there and I would have known to fix that up. Okay, so that's a really great idea to check your work. Okay, now, um, now this last question you might be able to work this out because 36 times 42 is very similar to this. You're going to see here we just substituted 10 in here, we did in here, we'd end up with 36 and this would be 42. Okay, because 3. X plus 6, okay, we know all this now. So the answer is going to be, we use this part to make our answer over here. The last part's going to be a 2. Okay, this one's going to be carried over here. Okay, so 1 and nothing is 1. This 3 is going to get carried over here. 3 plus 2 is 5. And a 1. So how do you like that? Hopefully uh, you, you're going to get really, really good with these. In the next video, we're going to have a look at our multiplying binomials and trinomials together. Okay, so I hope to see you then. See you next time. Bye.